afternoon, South Africa, and a very, very warm welcome to you. This is Afternoon Express, and my name is Jeannie D. It's another edition of Fashion Express, and of course, this past week, oh, and weekend rather, Cape Town hosted SA Menswear Week, uh, Autumn Winter 2020, and of course, today we meet some of the standout designers from this year's lineup, and of course, that means that they've brought some of their designs to show us, and they are incredible. Plus, we catch up with South Africa's culinary princess, one of my favorite people ever, Princess Lorna Maseko, who is traveling to Dubai this weekend to, of course, rub shoulders with the world's top chefs. But first up, his music is described as ancestral jazz. Now, this 23-year-old, Lucindiso Mbangwa, better known as Lucy Black, mixes a variety of traditional African sounds with soul, reggae, and pop to create a truly eclectic sound. But first, let's check out his music video for Vum. beautiful music video and a great song and of course it's called Vuma. Now when, when I think of the word Vuma, I think of my grandmothers because they're the woman in my life that gave me all the Vuma that I have. Yes, yes, yes. And this song is about your grandmother. Yeah, the song is dedicated to my grandmother yeah. but along the way as I perform the song to different shows, people tend to like to say, okay fine, you are talking to me so then it's about them both. Yeah, are you really close to her? Were you really close to her? I'm really close to her, she's still alive. We usually oh, talk. Each and every time I do a song, I send to her so that she can give me like approval. This is nice or what yeah. else going on. I love how you, you take like real life instances and people that are really very closely connected to you and uh, and then put that in your music. But I heard that there was a song of yours. It's called Lita, Lita Kaya. It's actually an EP, man. And it's about your, your sister. It's like, about my sister. So what happened there? Um, we lost contact just straight to a point. We lost contact around 2016 because yeah. um, I finished my metric around 2015. So I had to move to Joburg to check for my modeling, music and acting because yeah. I wanted to be in this industry. So I had to check. I had yeah. to go to big cities only because Joburg is being praised, Cape Town is being praised for the industry. Mm. So I had to be in the city. Exactly. So, that, so, so now where is she? You, you've got no idea, or you just does she not want to speak to you, or you, or, like, you just don't know where she is? It's not like that. We lost contact only because, you know, since I was the technology, um, I tried to call her on the number that we usually connect yeah. with. So, and then all of a sudden, I can't get hold of her, the number is not available. So, I tried to check on Facebook, but she's not active also. Yeah. So, I waited only because I'm active on social media. Yeah. So, I knew, okay, fine. If ever she check on in the internet, she's going to find me. But nothing. So I decided, okay, fine. How about I use music? Because well, music is like universal language. So eventually, it will... So you wrote the EP, and basically in that EP is a message to try and reach out to her again and to find her? Yes, it is. The interlude and, and the last track, which is Tembalam. Yeah, wow. so I'm using that. Hopefully, she's going to react. I really hope you find her. Please let us know. We want to stay in touch with your journey and find out if you manage to reconnect with your sister again. Um, not yet. I haven't. I've been trying to check trying to keep tabs, like the last yeah. picture she said, and trying to check their friends, but no yeah. luck. So I'm so crossing fingers. Yeah. So for people who aren't really au fait with your music, you're known as an ancestral jazz artist. Yes, yes, yes. Tell yes, me yes. a little bit about that. Why do you coin that, to coin yourself that? Um, a lot of like youngins like me, they usually focus on gong, other genres. So yeah. I noticed, okay, this genre is not um, being noticed around. I haven't heard any like anyone around South Africa saying is doing that, but unless I haven't seen that article mm. about them. So what I did, I just did a research about the genre. Then I realized, okay, fine. It doesn't limit me only because there's like fuse of different genres like in it, but yeah. the basic like basic basic um, thingy for your Afro Afro pop. Yeah. So 
when I grew up, I was listening to Afro pop, gospel. Then I have love for reggae because reggae has a lot of like information about struggle and everything. Not saying like other genre that don't don't mention that. So I was like, okay, fine. Since I'm this kid who like different genres, let me just fuse them and then choose this genre. Yeah. Of which on that EP, I sampled a lot of genres there. Beautiful. That's true talent. Do you think that your talent was maybe um, an ancestral calling? Are you connected to your ancestors like that? I believe because some songs are like when I'm passing like from work or just walking to studio, all of a sudden like I see blur thingy like it's turned black then I start singing hymns and stuff and then I start singing as I'm walking so it's usually like that so I believe and they're like each and every time I'm in studio so the thing that happens like when I sing like my mouth it gets warm so then really? I believe that yes. it's amazing for you to be so connected with your body and of course the metaphysical world for you be able yes, to take that inspiration and create so much beauty from it thank you so much for being here today it's really, really Thank awesome. You. We're looking forward to performance a little bit later. Now, we've got some incredible men's fashion coming up a little bit later in the show. But after the break, we're going to be catching up with our good friend, South Africa's culinary princess, Lorna Maseko. I'm Janeska Rademan. I am 24 years old. I'm a set decorator and an aspiring actress. Welcome to my crib. This is the lounge area. I don't really make a lot of food here because I tend to burn it. Yeah, that's enough. Let me show you my view from my room. So... Hello, Senior Mike. Can see? So I still live with my parents. That's why I actually need to win this money. <laughs> okay. There's only one person like Janiska. She's fun to be around and the type of person that you can't get enough of. So I think she would be perfect for this competition. What I'm going to bring to the competition is fun and kindness. Maybe I'm a little bit competitive. Maybe I'm a lot. Let's see. I'm Janeska Rademan. Watch me on Tropica Island of Treasure, Curaçao, coming to you soon on SABC3.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I hope that you're having a fabulous Thursday afternoon. It's about to get that much better because last time she joined us in the loft, she had just released her brand new cookbook and this time she's about to jet off to the Gulf Food Summit where the world's top chefs all descend on the city of Dubai to celebrate all things gastronomical. Now, please do connect with us online if you've got any questions for Lorna. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or, of course, comment on our Facebook page. Hello, gorgeous. Hello. I um, love seeing you. I feel like every time I see you, I just feel like my life just gets so much better. No, well, that's how I feel about <laughs> you. You are just like just a ball of energy. Yeah. Um, you looked incredible at the sun met. Thank Tell me you. a little bit about your dress. So my dress was by Scarlo, um, the designer, obviously. Yeah. Um, and uh, literally, I was like, I'm actually a foodie, not so much a fashionista, so... Can this is something. Something. <laughs> no, foodies can be fabulous and, know, and fashionable. I, I mean, look at me. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you, that's that's totally what you do. Yeah, so, and then he was like, really just like, okay, let's do this, let's do that. Yeah. I said, okay, you know, cinch the waist, show the booty. You know, I'm like, it's still ex ballet dance in my hair, don't show my arms, even though we did in the end. And he came up with something fabulous. And I was yeah. like, well, well, well. I love Look it. at that, child. Love it. <laughs> so the last time you were here, we were in the kitchen the whole time, and we yeah. made a, was it a beef wellington that we it made? It was a beef, it was a chicken wellington, chicken actually. Wellington. Yeah. It was amazing. It Thank was so you. delicious. But then since then, you've been so busy that we had to have you back just for a little catch up. The book's doing well, selling well. You, people can still buy the book. Still Amazing. available uh, nationally around the country, so they could still do that. I mean, you know, I think I think what's so beautiful about the book is that it's not just a cookbook, as I keep saying. It's my life story. You know, you get to hear funny stories about how I hate taking baths. Um, I, you know, <laughs> but I still shower, kids. So don't get you know, don't think like everyone in the studio is going, "What's that smell?" <laughs> but you know, and just the first time I had like a burger and I was crying in tears because I got eliminated from a ballet competition. Yeah. So it really is just a life story. And you know, if you ever wondered who Lorna was, the book is a way of totally. finding out who I am. And now everybody's finding out who you are because. Yeah. You flew to the States. I did. Uh, you did an amazing TV show there. Thank Tell me you. a little bit about it. So I was on Sister Circle, um, which has Miss Quad, has uh, Trina Braxton, who's obviously Tony Braxton's sister. And it's really just like a beautiful show about life. It's almost like an afternoon express type vibe, except it's really it's early. Good as Ex yeah, you know, <laughs> you know, except it's really, really early, you know. Yeah. And uh, I got to do a cooking demo, and you know, the reception was absolutely amazing. I should be going back soon, which I'm super stoked about. So so, yeah, let's jet off and do amazing things. And Dubai, you're going to be with Massimo Bucciaro. Ah! Like, he's got the best restaurant Listen, in the world. It's so ridiculous. I Tell am. Me. You know, they were like, oh, you know, we, we'd like to invite you to yeah. come um, and talk on a panel about rethinking food on, in the world. I know. I was like... Me. <laughs> then I looked through was on the panel and I was like, okay, Arthur I know from Chef's Manifesto, Paul I know from Chef's Manifesto. I was like, Massimo? Like, could you die? I mean, his restaurant, Osteria Francesca, is number one in the world. So I yeah. was just like, oh, can amazing. You that is going to be so, so yeah, delicious. Absolutely. And where is it going to be? Dubai. Hey? So it's in Dubai golf. from Sunday till, I think, the 20th. Amazing. And um, so I've got a couple of cooking demos just teaching. Oh, how exciting. I'm doing like a chakalaka dish and a. Um, Taking African food to the world. Yes, honey. Go girl. All this glam. So listen, <laughs> we've literally, I was going to interview you like the, the whole day, but you're going to stay. You're going to like, yeah, basically hang out with you. me the whole day. Love it. Fabulous. But um, there were so many things that I wanted to ask you, but basically our social media has been going nuts because everybody wants to hear from you. <laughs> so we've asked you online if you've got any questions. For Lorna and Felicity, Happiness asked, uh, what, makes, uh, what makes you stay strong even if it seems impossible? I think most of the time, because of the kind of goals I have, it really does seem impossible, yeah. you know, but I think it's just getting up and doing something every day, you know. Even if you're, I, it sounds so kitsch and so corny, but even if you're posting something fabulous and you're crying and you're sitting in your bed, yeah. that's one step forward. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just like, always keep it moving and just do something. But you know, even when you're having a lousy day, you have to get up. <laughs> Maybe go exercise and maybe just put on mascara. Do something yeah. little to make yourself feel a little bit better. Absolutely. And it, all, but, and it all of a sudden, all automatically would. You posted something on social media. What did I post? With, there was a camera filming you and you were cooking and it said, my first loves. But I thought ballet was the first love, but food is obviously the first yeah. love. <laughs> of course, I hadn't eaten for all those years, Julie. Ah, I, I know. I need to be making up all yeah. those years. 
definitely ballet is a first love that kind of space is a as a, as a space I resonate with. And the most beautiful thing about it is that I always say, I, you know, ballet had such a huge impact yeah. on my life. And I can't, I can't take that away, you know? Of course, um, that I've actually even started a foundation yeah. called Wapila Foundation where I'll adopt 10 ballet dancers, young from my township, Alexandra, yeah. one of the poorest townships in the country, as you know. And I'll take them on and I'm not necessarily wanting to build and make ballet dancers, but I realized the value yeah. that ballet instilled in my life. The it's discipline. radical discipline. Absolutely. Focus. The discipline. I mean, they didn't tell me that I couldn't, like, you know, sit 30 years later. But that's yeah. fine. You know, I've got a really good Kyra. So, <laughs> but, you know, um, and I really valued, I still value those years. And I think mm. they've shaped who I am and given me the chutzpah and the, yeah. and the, and the, and the confidence. Yeah, and the joie de vivre that I have, yeah. you know. So, oh, yeah. I think all those girls are going to be really, really grateful for yeah. that. Then Tulani Falazzi, back on our social media, asked, do you have any tips for that breathtakingly beautiful glow that you carry with you every day? You hardly miss the pattern of stunning or phenomenal looks? Oh, do, do, do they want the truth or do they the, want... No, to... <laughs> give us the truth. No, listen, we want the truth. Um, we want to know if you're putting toothpaste on your pimples, if you're putting Vaseline no, on I'm your... Like, what are you doing? I'm the, I am the absolute worst. I think it's just genes. Yeah. I can't say I necessarily... I try to eat healthier. Yeah. You know, I can't say, like, I'm a gym bunny in the gym every day. <laughs> you know, I'd be honestly lying and I don't want to do that. So... What do I do? You've got good balance. Do you know what I feel makes yeah. people happy? Uh, makes people beautiful. Happiness. That's a very good point, actually. Yeah. Like, I think, actually, you're very right. I don't hold grudges. I kind of, like, let go of things. Next day, keep it moving. Smile. <laughs> you know, I'm that kind of girl. Exactly. Perhaps that's what it is, right? It keeps it really you younger, is. makes you more beautiful. It does. I can't say it's like a Vita Fusion drip because... <laughs> <laughs> no, don't say that. But anyway, you're going to be with me today. Do you want to come to the kitchen with me? Would love to. See what to. we're whipping up? Yeah. I mean, let's go and have a look what we're doing in the summer. Summer. What could possibly top a rich and creamy sip-up? New Sip-Up Marula, a proudly South African unique flavour. Sip it up to live it up. Made with love by Clover. There you go. We've got some of my favorites in the kitchen now for our next cooking segment. Now, you may be a fan of the Clover range of Sip Up, but did you know that there's actually a new flavor to join the fam? All you need to do is enter Clover Sip Up Marula. So allow the magic of Africa to really inspire your momentum to get up and go. Now, you may not know that Marula is actually a fruit that is unique only to Africa. But how much do we actually know about this magical fruit other than its distinct flavor? So now, Timmy's going, well, Timmy's going to be schooling us and showing us different applications for this uniquely African fruit. Timmy, Mar marula, not amarula. Marula is the booze, marula is the fruit. <laughs> yes, marula is the fruit. Okay, I love both. <laughs> Good for you. And is this it? This is it, oh, yes. Yum. It actually has, it looks very similar to plums. Yeah. yeah oh. So it basically, if it, let's just say if a, a lychee and a plum had a baby, it would be that because the okay. texture on the inside is very much like a lychee. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the can I taste it? Lorna, do you want to have a go? Have you tasted a marula before? I have. Love them. Them. Not in a glass, in the actual fruit. <laughs> no, I've had the, these before. They really are quite delicious. And unlike what Ooh. people say, it gets you drunk. All of that. It's not really true. No. All is it true <laughs> that when the elephants eat these, like the fermented ones, they get a little bit tipsy? Well, that is not true. It also is a myth oh. because what happens is the Elephants actually get the, the, the marula fruit from the tree. So yeah. if it's still on there, then it hasn't fermented. Oh, Nothing okay, much well has happened. Well, that makes so. sense. Well, thank goodness, because I'm going on safari soon. And the last thing <laughs> I want is a tipsy elephant. elephant. <laughs> I would have seen nearly the elephant doing little, like, pounces <laughs> from too much marula. Oh, bom, bom, bom. No, what's it, Fantasia? You know, there's yeah. the elephant bom, ballerine. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> okay, so what, have you, what are you doing? So luckily, basically, the marula fruit is very, very versatile. So just yeah. like other fruits, you can actually incorporate it not just into savory dishes, but you can, I mean, in sweet dishes. You can also use it for sweet Ooh, dishes yeah. as well. You can blend it up and use the, the flesh to actually make yeah. the juices that we're going to use for the dressing now. But the kind can, of flavor, I can imagine that you could put it in a salad. Like, instead of putting gooseberries, you can put these, because it's got that same yes. bitter, bitter sweetness. It, yes, you're yeah. right, actually. I'm enjoying it. You could even pickle it as well. You can make a jam if nice. you'd like. Ooh. Would you char them as well? You could. It's just that the flesh isn't as as um, it doesn't allow for that that much. Right. It's best to rather just take the flesh, get the juices out. Nice. Um, like we've done here, we've actually used the skin. 
yeah. the top of the, the skin of the actual marula. Oh, is this the actual That's skin that I'm having? Yes. Oh, I want to know what the fruit tastes like. <laughs> I can actually cut up delicious. a piece for you just to see what it looks like on the inside. I just come here for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And luckily for us, oh, um, Sip Up Marula has men oh, made it's short -ish. ish Exactly, yeah. yeah. Are you going to be using this? You can have that. Thank you. <laughs> Go in, girl. So and luckily, Clover has introduced oh. the Marula flavor for us. So that's... Okay. And that's where the Marula... Oh, ah. that must be really refreshing, Would you like a piece though? as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I can actually imagine what it would... Yeah. I can imagine this in like a nice little Sip Up. Or even like a little cocktail, right? Mm. And actually, this goes to... Oh, this is good. <laughs> Okay. This is good. Okay, it's very well let's continue with our re recipe. Yeah, so I don't know if you'd like to just get the dressing done for me then. Oh, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> Too much time. Come, don't do, do some work for a change. <laughs> this is the juice from the actual lychee. Okay. That's some olive oil. Oh, yeah. Olive oil. Yes, and then some red chili flakes. Listen, to have a recipe for a good dressing is always a good idea. Because it actually mm. is the cherry, to, cherry on top to your yeah. salad. And what is your this, salad, lemon juice or? Lemon juice, yes. yes your yes. salad is great on its own, but the yeah. dressing just takes it up a notch. So that's yeah. very important. That's why we've made sure to use the marula juice as well. Just to Yummy. give it up a bit of a... And that's it. And that is it. That is your salad. Oh. Yummy. Oh, sorry. That I like to drench my salad in. You like me. <laughs> you like me. Oh, me. You like me. I drench my salads in <laughs> dressing and I'm like, <laughs> why is the salad not slimming? Well, now we know. <laughs> Thank you oh, very good. much. Thank you very much. Delicious. I guess you guys will have this later then. Yep, it's yes, ours. Man. So it goes literally without saying that anything Marula flavoured really is so special because it originates from our continent and of course has a really, really great taste. We is mine. There you go. Back to me. <laughs> but now, do not suffer any FOMO because if you can't find marula fruit anywhere, all you need to do is simply get a new clover, sip up marula, and enjoy the taste of Africa. Oh. What's new this summer? What could possibly top a rich and creamy sip up? New sip up marula, a proudly South African unique flavor. <laughs> sip it up to live it up. Made with love by clover. So after the break, we turn our attention to men's fashion with Elisa Radebe, founder of Bael. Plus, if you are looking to incorporate more plant-based foods into your diet, then we have got the perfect weeknight solution. Tropical Island of Treasure is back for a ninth season, and this time around, we're coming to you from the Dutch Caribbean island of Curaçao. Here, six celebrities and six smooth fans will pair up to compete for fame and fortune and the smoothest treasure of all, a shared one million rand. Three, two, one, go! Catch the new season of Tropical Island of Treasure Curacao every Tuesday, 7.30pm from the 3rd of March on SABC3.
Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, good time because we're going to have some fashionable fun. Now, this past weekend, Cape Town hosted SA Menswear Week with the top design talent from around the country descending on the mother city. It was amazing. And we actually thought that we'd invite some of the best to join us now in the loft. So first up, we are joined by Elisa Radebe, founder of the lifestyle brand by Ellie. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Well, welcome back, rather. Yes. Congratulations Thank on your you. show. Um, I'm so excited by what you are doing. You've just made such, such beautiful garments for these beautiful men. And, you know, there's a few outfits that I saw and I was thinking, oh, that is just so hot, so well done. What was your interpretation? And tell us what, what you created for this year's Men's Week. Um, well, my interpretation, well, my inspiration is always the, um, the African continent yeah. and um, the colours that we have. And I put an emphasis on black and white because things aren't always black and white. Yeah. It's just the irony of it. And um, a splash of green, because I believe green stands for prosperity. Yeah. yeah. Something that really stood out for me was the aesthetic of the, like the, lo the length. Yes. Just, it was kind of celebrating masculinity a lot, I found, because yeah. you made the guys look so much broader and taller with just the lines of those long coats. Absolutely. Let me tell you, there were two outfits there with the long coats, and I thought, mm -hmm. if I must go out and see a man <laughs> dressed like that, he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> well, that could get on the floor very quickly. <laughs> That's Absolutely. exactly why we're doing it because yeah. men's fashion is not is usually not as exciting. Yeah. And I think it's about time that we we make men more yeah. exciting and and clothing much more exciting. Do you think it's it's challenging to dress men? Do you think men are it a is. not as it, uh, daring it is as absolutely. Well? I mean, it, it, now times are getting much better. Um, yeah. People are exploring um, a, a different sides of themselves much more, yeah. and um, not. Really Really thinking about what people are going to say so much um, but it still is you know we're still making headway into it yeah but you know yeah. what I saw at the sun mate you can yeah. maybe agree with me African men especially African men from yeah. Joburg dress really well absolutely they are not I, scared yeah. to like yes. I just yeah. think Joburg in general people yeah. are just a lot more kind of showy yeah, and love it. What, I'm, what I'm wearing so when there's an occasion like the sun made for example mm. I think they really go all out totally. to you know to come to come out yeah and they're experimental yeah well let's have a look and see what you've done Take us through some of these amazing pieces. Um, well, this, I think, so I, nice. is one of our crispiest looks. Um, just print is always important to me because I think it's, it's, it tells a story. And um, we're trying to tell a story from our voice um, with this outfit. Just a mixture of Christmas and um, some print. I yeah. love the whole, yeah. how the collar is just not completely finished yeah. and kind of ends over there. That's like really chic. Yeah, because a lot of men would say to you, <laughs> they don't never want to wear ties. Right. Yeah. yeah. But you know what I mean by that line, by the neck? Yeah. It just makes men look so masculine. It's Absolutely. Yeah. We must <laughs> emphasize on that. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Let's have a look at the next one. This I love. Oh, I absolutely love yes. this. Yeah. And I think this could actually go well both male or female. Totally. You know, absolutely. with a little, like, beautiful, like, top underneath mm. there that, you know, your 100%. girl's showing off. Yeah. It's very much a, a boyfriend fits. Um, absolutely. So, so. Yeah, so it... Our winters are getting much colder with the global warming um, and I think um, this outfit really is going to serve people in terms of the, the weather and getting them warm. I want, you know, I, oh, I can't wait rather for uh, South Africa to get to a place that somebody goes to a business, corporate business meeting dressed like that on a Tuesday. I think I perhaps think like an agency is there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not so much mm -hmm. corporate, but yeah. perhaps in an agency you're a little bit more, Yeah. It might shock your CEO in a corporate, but... <laughs> Like that you will be the CEO. Like I like that. <laughs> Let's go for this it. This is amazing. Yeah, so we went with a lot more splash of colour here. Yeah. Um, just <laughs> emphasising um, the different parts of us that are Africa. And of course, very like Africanizing the very English houndstooth. Absolutely. Which I think is beautiful. Yeah, um, because we are actually global citizens. Yeah. And um, in as much as we're African, we still want to be recognised that we're African and yet stand out for all the right reasons. Yes, and I believe yes, yes. that this outfit um, captures that. Gorgeous. Awesome. And of course, using a similar fabric, but oh, beautiful. Yes. I mean, that jacket I would wear any yeah. day. Absolutely. Yeah, I love this look. Um, a bit more formal, um, but still 
I mean, we, if you paired it with a jean, yeah. it would still work beautifully. Mm. Mm. I love the whole polo neck as well, because sometimes you feel, particularly for my body, I'm always like, should I do a polo neck? Should I not? Am I too short? Will it make me shorter? I'm also cautious but, of the you know, polo neck. But I'm like, this, this works. Yeah, I've, I found the polo necks, um, it, they're very effortless and, yeah. and something that you need to have. Yeah. For me, um, if, okay, well, it's men's fashion, but we're discussing, oh, this is actually my other favorite one, yeah. Obsessed. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so artistic. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Take, take, it, take us through the... Um, this was also inspired um, um, a, a lot of Asian elements. Mm. And um, just as you said, drawing the eye towards um, the broad shoulders and, and broadening the length, um, I mean, doing the length of, of, yeah. of um, the model. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this. I'm for this jacket. Like, yeah, I this can see my stomach. I'm taking that one home. Everything. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this is. Oh, oh my lovely. God, this is amazing. Yes. We tried to go very high fashion here um, yeah. and still serve the purpose of winter. Right. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of layers here. We have a polo neck, we have a shirt, a shirt dress that you might use as a shirt dress. Mm -hmm. um, and and yeah, topped it up with the sleeveless jacket with a bit of full fur. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. No, gorgeous. I'm excited for winter. I want to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Thank you yeah. so much for this absolutely beautiful collection. Congratulations. I hope you have the best season ever. And you certainly <laughs> did you. deliver all of the stops with this amazing, Thank you very amazing much. collection. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to head to the kitchen after looking at all the fashion. Lorna, do you want to come with me? Kitchen's my favourite place. Yeah, <laughs> I know, me too. And please do connect with us online if you've got any questions for any of our fabulous guests or, of course, for our fabulous princess chef, Lorna Maseko. Hello, Chumi, we're back. Hi, welcome back. Now, for the last few years, Woolworths have been a South African front runner, really, in plant based eating and solutions. So, if you are looking for some ways to easily incorporate more plant based goodness into your diet, then seriously look no further. Now today uh, Chumi is going to be making some plant powered schnitzel and pesto noodles for us and if you would like this recipe SMS the keyword Woolworths to 33650. SMS is a 1 round 50 eaten free. SMSs do not apply. Take it away Chumi. Make us plant based babe. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of people are constantly complaining about the fact that once you go plant based you lack the protein which is mm -mm, not true. <laughs> <laughs> which is what Woolworths has, has done for us. They've made sure that you don't lack and you don't <gasps> miss the meat. This is genius. In I haven't seen this yet. <laughs> in your recipes, so this plant-based protein-powered schnitzel actually oh. replaces the meat completely. You could right. replace it if you want, but you, you can actually use it. It's very, very versatile as well. You could use it in any of your dishes. Okay, and if you look, okay, I'm going to cut one open just now, but it looks like real chicken inside. Look at that. Yeah, it does. I guess this it, is amazing. It, it probably, I love science. It probably is quite flavorsome as well because sometimes you get plant-based food and it just tastes like... Like nothing. Rubber. Yeah, but paper. I don't want it. Like when I want a schnitzel, I want it to schnitzel. like tear and I want schnitzel. <laughs> I don't want beans. So luckily, there's so much flavor that in that. Really I've just good. put a two in the oven right now. Uh, hopefully you get you once you guys taste it you'll understand actually what Can't it's wait. so delicious glorious it's high in protein yeah. which means you won't actually m miss the meat in your recipes Amazing. totally so the schnitzels are in the oven in What's the next? oven so what we're going to do now is we're going to warm up our noodles yeah keeping it plant-based again our noodles are cauliflower noodles mm. so there is literally no meat product in we're, here we're, we're thin this winter <laughs> <laughs> no comfort food chains this is, can i ask you that just to put that in there sure. for us so we're just warming them up quickly yeah. to, uh, to just wake them up Make yeah, them nice right. and warm so that a once we blanch, <laughs> like basically, blanche -y blanche. Yeah. and then if you'd like to get your hands dirty, then I'd like you to help me with our pesto Always. here. <laughs> dirty is my middle name. We're having a, we're making a nice spinach pesto. Yeah. There is no meat product in here again. There's no parmesan, so we're okay. replacing the parmesan. Spinach, Sp spinach, olive oil. Yeah. All of it. That's fine. And then we've got some salt. Okay. We've got a we've got some um, sunflower seeds. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, pine nuts are a bit more on the pricier side. Sunflower but seeds delicious. are delicious. <laughs> but delicious. Okay, yeah. then that lemon and juice. Just a little okay. bit of lemon juice, and then one clove of garlic would be fine for that. Yeah, okay, threw the big one in, and now just stump it. Go away. Do, do your thing, this and then. Is so <laughs> hard, guys, I must be honest. You can actually this just. This is always a challenge. For, oh, yes, that actually make sure you get every single I part mean, of. It. How long did you do this for before you? Uh, I think I don't need, I can miss Jim for this. There's a reason why I invited <laughs> right. this lady here today. Nobody can do it better. <laughs> let me try, let me try. I think these are ready, right? These are ready, yes. Right? Okay, but we've made one just in case. I would just like to see you have a good go at it. I, I, I will, I will, I will, I will. That's your 
Okay. Cauliflower mm -hmm. noodles. Yeah. Awesome. Let's and the, see. the flavor of that is done. You don't, I mean, that's... If you'd like to add... And finish yes, it. The, okay. the, the noodles themselves are already flavored. They're literally just cauliflower that's been shaped into yeah. noodles for us. So it's quite delicious. And the flavor for us here will be the pesto. Okay. So you shouldn't miss any parmesan in this. I the pesto. Therapeutic this is. Quite. <laughs> if, you're, if there's mm. someone who's upset you, this is the perfect day I to... know, I was going to say. <laughs> Yeah, so now traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, completely. Go. completely. Totally. And then you pair this beautiful oh, dish your meals, with um, a nice light salad, a nice salad from Woods, because they've Stunning. also got these salad leaves that you can use. And this one's already been cooked. That's no? already been cooked. Do you mind if I, I can't find a knife, but can I just cut a little bit off just to see? I'm really. Uh, oh, okay. okay. Messing it there. Look there at that. Wow. Looks like chicken inside. This is amazing. Oh, we have so to taste that, that, surely. <laughs> yeah, so that one's all yours. I'm just going to make the plate look prettier. Sorry. <laughs> Gorgeous. Thank you so much, Chumi. Oh, this is absolutely that. beautiful. And of course, the beauty, I think, of these kinds of plant-based dishes is that they've actually got so much flavor yeah. that you won't miss the meat. Indeed. So I'm definitely giving this recipe a go tonight. And if you'd like to try out this really tasty recipe, then SMS the keyword Woolworths to 33650. We're going to send you the recipe. We're going to send you the ingredients. And SMSs are only one round 50. Free SMSs do not apply. Now, stay with us because we've got more from SA Men's Wear Week coming up after the break with Marva Mode um, with Tian, a really exciting collaboration of two genius creative minds. That's coming up after the break. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. We hope that you're having a gorgeous afternoon. It is, of course, Fashion Express Thursdays, and we're joined by the fabulous Lorna Maseko with us, playing with us all damn day. <laughs> now, in today's Fashion Express, it's all things men wear, Men's Wear Week, and, of course, joining us now are the incredible local designers, Diva Fanamadva and Tian Schutter, and, of course, the minds behind the Madva Mode and Tian Collection. And we are also joined by their studio manager, um, Lala. <laughs> All right? Yay, yeah, congratulations, Marco. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about how Marva Mode was created. 
So Mavamode was created after I studied and I um, studied and went to an internship with Tom Ford and then, oh, shit. yeah, <laughs> and then fell in love with Bedsway and then was obsessed with Bedsway and then continued to yeah strive to do very androgynous looks and yeah just fashion, fashion, fashion I guess and then I obviously needed to start making money and produce <laughs> and so yeah Mabba Mode's just been a, a yeah. whirlwind of things really incredible. as a creative yeah incredible and then of course you collaborated of course with Killer with Creative Vault how did that collaboration come across so basically Creative Revolt was an online platform and I met Diva and like fell in love with her first but her work <laughs> well her name is Diva well. how do you not love her I love a good Diva I'm obsessed <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we basically connected and we stocked for some of the things and then started working together in um, in different sectors so if she produces or I produce some of her shows at the previous SMN's Day week yeah um, and then yeah the merger was inevitable, so we thought, let's create something nice together, yeah. yeah. Lala, what an amazing creative space that you are obviously contributing to in all of your beauty and glory. Tell us a little bit about managing this gorgeous aesthetic. It was not easy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I deal with two different people. Yeah. Two divas. Yes. <laughs> Real divas. <laughs> but out of it, it, it was... A joyful because yeah. if something is not right, I just say it, it's not right. Yeah. Then that's where we play. Yeah. But otherwise the production works quite amazing. And that's such a valuable place to be in, is when you can get yourself to a place where you say, I don't like it, it's not right, that everybody trusts you with yeah, what you're gonna yeah, say. That's exactly what she is. She's yeah. like the stability. That yeah. trust is invaluable. 100%. Yeah, and amazing. also two crazy minds and then <laughs> yeah. we're just like, Where's our ground? Where's our ground? And <laughs> then Nolu you know. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Nolu, you know? Yeah. The hardest and the best no ever. Exactly. Is no. <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look and see what yeah, you've yeah. created. If you want to talk us through what we're having a look at, let's first Let's look at the first look. So we so basically beautiful. stripped on, we focused on the tailoring, not necessarily colors this, on, on this collection, yeah. the tailoring, craftsmanship um, in nude colors. So we took away all of the, the theatrics and just focused on the fit. Mm. Um, I think so many yeah. things Everything, take away, yeah. yeah, and it's so important, and some, so, so many people look it over. Yeah. So and that's we like something playing that silhouettes. Her and that Diva learned from Tom Ford, of course. <laughs> so like, I'm going to use that. So yeah, the tailoring. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> she used to keep dropping that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's your first you know, Tom Ford. <laughs> so yeah. this pants was actually like inspired by David Bowie, and oh, this. this is next, yeah. The jumpsuit. Okay, this, I must be honest, is yeah. my favorite. Me it too. is beautiful. Yeah. The nice thing of the of the plain jumpsuit is we also tailored it a bit for for to make it comfortable because I know a female jumpsuit isn't always as practical. Really? So we made to try to make only it only when you're going to the loop. Yeah. The rest of the time is perfect. Yeah, Except on that one at the bottom, so it's <laughs> it is quite practical. And also, I guess it's that balance of like the top and the bottom that it the kind cross of, yeah, yeah correct. kind of mixed together that it's balanced enough that you don't feel like it's pulling exactly. you. Exactly, and yeah. it's such a plain piece. I mean, just did the detail at the back. So on his back, um, it's just the gathering detail. The gathered not too much. Yeah, you can literally just put anything on that or take everything away like we did now. Oh, even that is gorgeous. Yeah. That is really, really so nice. And I love that look, the little belt loops, but don't yeah. ever put a belt there. It's just so yeah. like, beautifully <laughs> slung on the hips. Yeah, yes, love And then there's our favourite Afternoon Express man, Lasala. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, isn't he Can't cool? get enough of him. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> And the pants are great. <laughs> no, I love a wide-legged pants. Yeah. yeah, and he's so tall. I mean, his length is great for that. But I mean, the pants, is, it's just a very strong standard pleat. It falls, if, if he isn't moving, it falls straight down. Um, and as so soon as... we it... see something like a similar to that uh, now at the Golden Globes or the Oscars, where this one guy was wearing kind of, it looked like a skirt, but, yeah. it, was but it was actually pants. Oh, it was beautiful. Yeah. Really, such a nice and silhouette for a guy that yes. we don't often see. Exactly, like intervening on the old or old-fashioned yeah. men's wear silhouette is quite fun, yeah. And then, same thing with the suit. We see so many suits. I mean, it's there's always pockets and details and people over-accessorize. And this one you can if you want to. We took off the collar. We made it as plain as possible just to, you know, for, for you to be able to accessorize it with other local designers. It's like we're not very... Um, 
this is stuck in our own yeah, way. We yeah, want to be like to absorbed in a wardrobe, well. you know. Yeah. That's kind of how. I find that so clever with, with the tones and the colours that you've gone through because even though each of them stand alone as beautiful pieces, you can also mix and match a bit. Correct. Yes. Yeah, like so a well-fitting pair of pants. The like rest of the collection was also black, so the whole thing is a capsule, so you can right. dismantle it, put it back together and play around with it with silhouettes, fits and colour yarn. Yeah. Yeah. Love, That's love, a nice love. thing. And it's also pieces, it's timeless pieces, so you can put anything yeah. with it. Basically. And the fabric is it. hardy, so it can be yes. washed and worn and, you know, they yeah. stick around for a while. Yeah. Really, really yeah. usable. Yeah. So tell us about what you thought of the, the collection and the capsule. What did you fight for? <laughs> <laughs> I fight for everything. Yeah. Well, the fit, the quality. quality. Yeah. yeah. And I'm always strict when it comes to quality. Yeah. Yeah. That's no loss thing. <laughs> quality is, yeah, quality is everything. Pass, yeah. Absolutely Wonderful. stunning. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well done. This is Pleasure. absolutely a beautiful Thank collection. You. Really good success. We hope that it does really, really well this season. So, of course, the Fashion Express continues after the break as we look at Wonderborn Athleisure brand, the highly creative Masa Amara. <laughs> I'm talking through it, talking through it. Can you hear? 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 Cool, cool, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Hope you're having a wonderful afternoon. We are, of course, joined with Afternoon Express bestie, Lorna Maseko, who's joining us today. And, of course, our final guest from SA Menswear is probably one of the most colourful designers to ever set foot in the loft. We've got Eli Gold. He was, of course, born in Rwanda, and his fashion journey brought him to South Africa, where he now runs his traditional-inspired label, Masa Mara. And, I mean, we've seen so much of you lately. Welcome yeah. back. Oh, thanks so much we for having me. 
love your yeah. work. You are just literally like glowing with so much radical talent. And you know, I remember when I was in Rwanda, just feeling mm. like the place was so beautiful. The people are so beautiful. Mm. And I can see where you get all of your beautiful inspiration. Yeah. Now this collection <laughs> was just a feast. I didn't yeah. know whether you had just come back from Japan or <laughs> Africa. It was everything. Take yes. us through like a little bit behind. Them. Yeah. So the collection is called um, Migration is Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. So within the collection, I wanted to tell that um, migration is not a problem, but it's yeah. a process, you know. Mm -hmm. So if we all embrace one another, you know, we can go find life and we can achieve and accomplish a lot of things yeah. in life. So, yeah. How long does it take you to put together a piece? Because your designs are so layered, yeah. so super textured, so detail rich. Mm, I, like, I wouldn't say exactly because I'm like forever working. So, yeah. like, yeah, so I'm constantly working on pieces and trying to put together. So, yeah, so there is quite a lot of work that goes into a garment or into yeah. like the look itself. Because, like, as you said, my work is like layered. Yeah. And that's one thing that I'm trying to put, you know, within my um, looks. Yeah. So yeah, it takes a lot of time, but um, yeah, um, I manage because I'm, I'm always working on it. Yeah, have you guys met before? No, we haven't. No. I'm like, I'm already in love. I'm just no, like, wow. He's so we keep him so, forever. His zen is so it? beautiful. Yeah. I'm a beautiful warrior, yes. Yeah, I, I feel yeah. that. I'm just like, wow, you yeah. are absolutely yeah. amazing. A beautiful, peaceful warrior. We love yeah. you. Oh, Let's see that. what you've yes. got, to, uh, what you've brought for Ooh, combat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, yes. gorgeous. You are so talented. Well, Take us through what you... So, I mean, like, uh, this look, I wanted to, um, like, show something that was <laughs> easy but still also makes a statement. Um, I want to show something casual, still also formal, and um, it's, uh, like, a, a combined kind of um, suit with T-shirts, like, all in one. Yeah. So, yeah, I just wanted to make something very simple but still makes a strong statement, yes. Yeah. yeah. And I love that you can pick little pieces of that entire outfit and find something really gorgeous in there and wear it alone essentially yeah right? well all of the head pieces are yeah. all of the head <laughs> yes um, and this yeah. one Yes. So this, um, I mean, like, um, I wanted to show, uh, again, as you can see, there's a lot of layers going on. This guy is a heavy warrior as well, so um, he's been working for a long time, and, like, you know, this is a look that he want to go there and let people say, I'm here, and I'm here to take what's mine. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Listen, I think oh, this entire collection is going to do the music video for Empire of the oh. Sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Completely. Yes. I love that. Yeah. I mean, yes. So this is one of my favorites, like the fabric alone. Yeah. Um, it's a designed fabric. I mean, all the fabric are designed. And um, the fabric alone says, like, you know, it shows African um, royalty and also it shows the, you know, bravery. And that's why I, layer, I put a lot of layers in, in it. So again, he's a warrior who's ready to take on the world. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah, he's, he's like there to demand what's his, basically. Incredible. Yeah. What's the inspiration for the different seasons that you, you know, come up with? I mean, do you have to be in a certain space? Do you have to travel? Yeah, so I mean like um, I'm inspired by Africa right. and by like the world in general. So there's a lot of, of course, like I'm constantly work, I mean, researching, seeing what's happening and talking to people like um, places that I've, I've, I've visited. So it's all comes in the, in the you know, in the collections. Yeah, um, yeah mostly. Yes. Do those pants zip and down as well? Yes, it zips up. Um, oh, yeah, it seems like zips on the side. Body <laughs> much, but cute. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. So, I mean, also, like, as you can see, it's layers and layers. Um, yeah, basically, I wanted to show, um, like, uh, wherever, like, this guy is a traveler, so I Definitely. wanted to show that he's ready to take on whatever weather comes. He can take the layers off, yeah. he can put it on. So it's more of that, because um, they're all actually traveler in this um, collection, yeah. so I, they ha had to be ready. Your fabric designs are literally on another level, yeah. because there's just little stories behind yeah. each piece of fabric, so yes. beautiful. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm trying to tell African story through my creations, you know, yeah. so with every uh, fabric that I design, I make sure that there is a lot of story to tell. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Beautiful. each fabric has different, you know, yeah. Um, yeah Do you know what it reminds so. me of? So you know the, the Scottish have got the yeah. tartan, yes. and yeah. each print yeah, of yeah. tartan comes from yes. a different clan. Right. Yeah. So it reminds me of yes. like each different piece of yeah. uh, the uh, the print, piece uh, of your fabric yes. has got a completely different story. Definitely, about yes. It. Also inspired by different cultures as yeah. well. Yeah. The cultures that I've visited, people that I've got to live with in Cape Town is a lot of in diversity place. Yeah. So it all keeps coming in the collection, basically. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for the bucket hat. <laughs> 
I could rock each, yeah. as, each and every one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you yes. so much for sharing this yes. with us. It's, it's so beautiful. We really do appreciate it. Now, it's definitely been an hour of fabulous food, fine fashion, good conversation, some of my favorite people. And of course, to top it all off, here is ancestral jazz artist Arsh. Lucy Black oh. with Vuma. Clover. Another feel-good production.